Okay. Uh, this video, we will analyze the parabola y equals x squared plus x minus six. So first thing we notice is that a, which is right here in red, one is positive. So the parabola will open up. <clears throat> then we look at the discriminant. Remember discriminant is b squared minus four ac. So b is one, a is one, c is negative six. We plug these numbers in and we get basically the discriminant to be 25, which is positive. That means we have two zeros. This is not minus. This means, if you wanna say, means we have two zeros or two solutions. Now let's find these solutions. So we use the quadratic formula. And this is the discriminant right here that we just computed to be 25. So we plug the numbers in and we come up down to here, we could come down to here where we have two possibilities for X, one with a plus five and one with a minus five. The plus five gives us a two, the minus five gives us a negative three. So these are the two intercepts or the two zeros and we label them A and B just so that we can put them on the graph so we know where they are. Now the vertex, by definition, the X coordinate is negative B over two A, it's negative one over two or negative a half. Now that's the X coordinate of the vertex. The Y coordinate, we plug in X into Y and then we get the answer, we get the value for Y. So, we plugged in x in here, negative a half squared, minus a half, minus six. The common denominator is four. So I get one minus two here, because I have a two here, and then minus six times four. I get negative 25 fourth. Okay, it's like negative 6.25. The axis of symmetry is x equals minus a half right here, which is the X coordinate of the vertex, and we label the vertex V. <clears throat> Let's look at the Y intercept. Y intercept, that's when we set X to be zero. So if you go back to the original equation, okay, when X is zero, this goes away, this goes away, we're left with six, right? So negative six. So for the Y coordinate, we get a negative six. So the point is negative six, uh, zero negative six. So now it's time to plot them. <clears throat> Here's one of the intercepts. Here's the second. Here's the Y intercept. And then here's the vertex. And this is my parabola right there. Now I use the uh, TI 83, 84. Let's view the LCD screen. There it is. So again, I plug the equation in here, y equals x squared plus six x minus six, and then I hit graph, <clears throat> and there it is. Let's find these zeros on the calculator just to verify what we have, right? And then let's find the vertex. So to find the zeros, let's, we need to hit this calc right here, C-A-L-C, it's in blue. Second calc, and then let's find the zero. So that's number two. Uh, let's find the zero right here. So here the, the calculator wants us to be the left of the zero. So here we are to the left of the zero, left bound, see that? Left bound, hit enter. Then let's scroll over a little bit to the right of the zero. So now this pointer is to the right of the zero right here, hit enter. Now hit enter one more time and gave it to us two zero. And if we go back here, one of the zeros was two zero. That's point A. And on the graph that we drew was right there. Okay, so that's good. Let's find the other zero now again. Second, calc, find the zero. Now let's go to the left of the other zero. Uh, 
right, let's continue going until we are to the left of that zero. Almost there, there we are. Now we're to the left of the zero right here. We are to the left of the zero, hit enter. See, it drew you the vertical line, and obviously the vertical line is to the left of the zero. Now let's be to the right of that zero, just a little bit, here we go, hit enter. And hit enter a third time. And it's negative three zero, which is exactly what we have for point B, negative three zero. Now let's find the vertex. Remember the vertex is the, the lowest point or the minimum point on the parabola in this case. So we need to be to the, on the minimum of this. So let's again, go to that function here, calc. Let's find the minimum. So let's find number three. So we need to be to the left of what we think is the minimum. So you bring it close, close, there it is, that's good. Then move it now to the right of what appears to be the minimum, the vertex. That's good enough. And now a third time. There it is. X is negative 0.4999. And then Y is it's basically negative 0.5 or negative a half. Okay. And then Y is negative 6.25 or negative. 25 over four. And we computed it correctly. So this is the window parabola using just algebra and then graphically verifying that the points that we got, the important points, A, B, C, and V are the same. Okay, thanks. This is it for the video.